Ronnie and I were li used to live together, and I'm sitting on my bed playing this guitar, and he walks in the room and sits down in the bed next to me and puts his arm around me and goes, man, he said, I love you, but he said, man, you're just the worst bass player I've ever played with. And I knew in my heart he was right, because I listened to the album, and there's so many things that on the album that I just wasn't happy with as far as the bass part. It's like it was hard for me to get a feel for some of it, you know. So I said, well, what do you want, what do you want to do? He said, look, let's go out and talk to Leon. He's working at an ice cream factory here in town, and we'll see if we can't talk him into coming back and switch you over to guitar. I said, all right. So I went out that night and talked Leon into coming back. Two days later, we started rehearsal with me on guitar. And that day, Ronnie and I wrote Sweet Home, Alabama, rehearsal. So we were, I mean, I was inspired. You know, I was back on my main instrument, you know. And that night I went home and went to bed, and uh, the entire guitar solo came to me in a dream, note for note. Yeah, that's why that guitar solo, I only changed two notes in the whole solo to this day, but the rest of it is note for note because it came out in a dream, you know. I always sleep with a guitar next to the bed, and I woke up in the middle of the night after I'd heard this. And in my dream, I'd seen the fingerings and everything. It was, it was very tangible. So I woke up, picked up the guitar, and it just fit so perfect. And I went out to rehearsal the next day, and it just, man, just fit like a glove, you know. Ronnie was kind of trying to tell Neil Young at the time not to be picking on Southern Man and, and Alabama because he had a Al Mount, Alabama, and a song on it called Southern Man, cutting, you know, Alabama Alabamians down about the way they were about black people and and it was like he wrote uh, Neil Young wrote the song about a long time ago but he kind of made it sound like he was talking about today and so we said hey you're a Canadian anyway you don't know nothing about Alabama he ain't even been there he was just writing about it we found this out later we kind of told Neil to to cool it and then also there's a lot of lyrics in there about Wallace Governor George Wallace he was the governor of Alabama, but he was running for president, and Ronnie wanted to be president. Ronnie loved him. Everybody else in the world hated him and thought he was a bigot and a creep and a redneck. And Well, he's, he was, but, but uh, Ronnie thought he was cool for that and kind of wrote it and thought Montgomery had the answer. And You know, we have the line there. In Birmingham, they got the governor, and then it says, Boo, boo. Uh, Alabama was going to have this after the crash in about 79. It was going to be the state song, Sweet Home Alabama. The only reason it kept it out was because of that. In Birmingham, they have the governor, boo, boo, boo. That was supposed to be America saying boo, 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 but they huh. thought it was about him. Because so, we voted for Wallace, and everybody else voted for Nixon, and Watergate yeah, look happened, what happened, so yeah. does your concert bother you, yeah. and, you know. Huh. So it all makes sense now, but... Uh, that's one of the things, and then the other thing was about, like I said, the guitar solo. We weren't even going to put it on the album because Cooper thought it was in the wrong key, and he hated it. He thought it was bad. It's a great solo, too. You know, the solo is great to me, I, uh, but back back then when he was saying it, we had kind of, yeah, you're right, you know, like, yeah, it's bad, and we, I tried to play a solo, and Alan played one, and we had like ten solos, but we kept the original because it was 